<laughs> My name is Mike Snowden, and I've been a musician for a long time, ever since I was 12 or 13. Good sustain on it. Small town Louisiana, there wasn't much else to do, so I started playing music. The last band I was in, we were on the road just forever, so I took some time off. Man, that's cool. And uh, I came up on a guy playing a cigar box guitar on the internet, and I was like, oh man, that's cool. I've never seen that before, you know? So I made one and showed a buddy. He was like, oh man, that's cool, make me one. So <laughs> I made another one. I'm right over at 900 now, so I'm getting close to 1,000. And uh, it's a fun way to do music without having to kill yourself on the road, you know? Basically, I start with the, with, with the neck. I like to pick up, you know, a nice fretboard, like this is a walnut. I cut that out to fit on top, and then I do the inlays on the fretboard. This is a scrap piece of wood, so. So I try not to throw any of my wood away. I try and keep everything. So you just pull that out, and that's a little plug that we're gonna fill these little holes with. <laughs> Let those dry, then I sand that down. And then I'll do the fret markers on my table saw. I have a little, little jig I kind of made up with another template. And then you gotta sit and hammer frets. So that's the next thing is the frets come in long sticks. You get on a roll though, man, you get going, it's like you knock out a whole neck before you know it. Next step would be to finish off your frets, sand them all down, file them off. Everything gets glued up and then finished off. Um, then the fun parts get to string it up and plug it in and play it and hopefully it works and it makes a guitar. So we got our three string guitar. We're gonna string it up. I think my dog just found a squirrel in the yard. <laughs> He's trying to steal the, steal the show, I think. That goes right there. Now we're gonna tune this sucker up. So you want this to be in G open, and then when you play the 12th fret, that oh, was perfect on that one. <laughs> that, was, that was perfect. So the intonation's good on that, it sounds good. It's a good little sound, Cigar Box guitar. They all sound different. That's the cool thing about Cigar Box guitar, you know. You find a box, if it has a good, you can tell it'll have a good tone to it, you know, just by knocking on it. A big box is gonna be a little bass here, a smaller box, more treble, you know, but they all have a, tone that's kind of hard to describe. It's, it's like magic, you know? All right, that's a good one. Jeff Daniels, when they were shooting Dumb and Dumber 2 in Atlanta, he, uh, he actually bought four from me. Uh, Christian Bush has bought a bunch from me. Um, Joe Perry from Aerosmith and Tom Morello. So yeah, it's fun. Something about going down the shop and just making making guitars, you know. Sometimes you think it's kind of silly, you know. It's like I'm making a cigar box guitar, like what, you know. But then people see it, they're like, man, that's so cool, you know. So it it is a it's a very emotional thing, you know. Music is, and I guess making things can be. And then at the end, you end up with a guitar that you can play. So that's kind of cool too.